I've clearly made some very bad decisions. Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete. Living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat. And now, you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand, you understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor, the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Oh, hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby! Yeah! Oh, this better be fucking good! Oh. Oh, Jesus! Fuck. Ah! Oh. Man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home, this is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. Be under Rat and Canyon Bridge in a boat. We'll stay in touch on the headsets. That's about the size of it! Make it a fast boat! Ah, the logistical mind of Trevor Phillips. So, it's like gold bricks on board, right? Sometimes! This is a high-value courier service run by... <laughs> goods too valuable to insure for air travel trade. Gold. Sometimes gold, sometimes artwork, priceless antiquities. Sometimes enough for you, me, Ron, everyone. Fine. And here she is, the magical train. Hold up! Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay, I'll pick them up when I'm back at the trailer. Back at the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Wow, oh, getting changed? What have, what have you turned into? Conductor on this train? You on the water? Sure, just caught a fish. Let me know when you need me. Got it? Eat it? Be under that fucking bridge. When we go past Polito Station, whole of Merriweather's gonna be on to us. Train ain't stopping here, boy! I ain't far out. You under the bridge. Approaching the inlet now. I'm powered through to the bridge.
I'm living the life, my friend. This is quite a spot you pick. Enjoy it now, because it's about to start raining fire. Shit! Shit! Uh -oh! Now, if I was a speed-free cannibal, what would I blow up a train to steal? Don't be smart! Find the loot! Our moment of judgment! Yeah, now get your ass in there, Mikey! I'll be as quick as I can be. I gotta run a fucking salvage operation in here. Merryweather fleet's here, bro! You're taking too long, pork chop! It's hard to find treasure in the magical train. They got shooters on the track! Hey, your rifle's got a thermal scope, right? Use it! And find those shooters before they find me! Yeah, got one of them! How am I gonna speed you up, man? Snipers are down, so don't let that keep you. They're parachuting in now! You wanna die in that box? Let's go! In the boat, come on! Down river! Aminor! Change clothes. You couldn't have done this without that weird vest thing. Cars up there, T. Get him off of us. Chopper, right behind us. Hey, 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 Mike. You don't get kicks like this on the golf course. I don't know, man. I get kind of pissy when I miss a putt. Come on. We need to get on land. Pull her up down the coast. Whoa! 
Man, you work hard for your living. Boil it down for me. How much you think you make for a senseless killing, huh? Couple nickels? Times are tough. Have been since we put you in the ground. Hey, you had your savings. That I couldn't access because you blew the identities. You know, there was nothing for Brad's defense. Man didn't even get a trial, just popped up in Supermax. Ron organized some transport for us. Oh, his and hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. I... It's perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be dead men in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job, not your call to make. No, no, your job. Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get your own! Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Verging suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? A couple kids pulling jobs, the big one. I know it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again. With Lester and Franklin on board. We can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Hey. Right. You keep the case. Fuck me. Okay, hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every inch of the way, all right? right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying kind. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. Let's 